Hello guys, it's me the inside man from TechRan and this is the teardown video of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The device that is popularly known for its incredible pricing and 108 megapixel main sensor. This device has plastic back, plastic frame and a glass front. But aside from the 108 megapixel main sensor, what other interesting feature is this phone actually bringing to the table? I mean, we've seen the likes of the Samsung Galaxy A52 that comes with water resistant. I'll link to that video in the description below so you can check the teardown video of the Samsung Galaxy A52 if you haven't seen it already. Now, opening this device is pretty easy, but our focus is what the components of this device are actually made of. Now, they will get to see the chipset below this frame in a bit and also have a closer look at the 108 megapixel main camera if it's actually a 108 megapixel sensor. Then at the bottom, we also get to see, have a closer look at the main speaker, then the USB type C itself. Now, the side here is the side method fingerprint. We'll get to see that in a bit, but quick one. At the back of the plastic is coated with graphite which should help to keep the temperature of the battery down while it's working. Now to see more of the device I have to take out the screws and remove the frame of the device which should be pretty easy to do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. It seems like smartphone companies are investing more in the, the Mindridge smartphones, I mean, they are getting better. We've seen a Mindridge smartphone that is water resistant. We've also seen, now we are seeing Mindridge smartphones that comes with a 108 megapixel and the chipsets used in these smartphones are getting impressively good every time. Now, this is the side mounted fingerprint. It's a little bumpy, which is nice when it comes to the touch. Uh, from this spot on, you can see that the chipset is covered with copper tips which is really impressive so what i'll do next is unclip a bunch of ribbon cables from the top and the bottom board then take out this the network wire right here and then that ribbon cable then i can easily take out the main speaker of the device now the bottom speaker has no rubber gasket or anything so which simply means the phone is not water resistant it's not waterproof so don't go swimming with the phone and you definitely don't want to use have this phone around you while it's raining you have, to, you have to keep it very safe this is the bottom board with the usb type c there's also no rubber coating there then right here is the vibrator module neatly tucked at the bottom there now let's have our first look at the 5000 milliamp battery that is powering this device it's pretty big and we'll have to see what the bottom of this battery looks like now our main attention will not actually be on this battery because we've seen lots of 5000 milliamp hour battery before let me try and use this put up to take it out oh, let me try this other one uh, okay it's coming out yeah nice one this is just about the most easiest battery i've ever removed in this channel thumbs up to xiaomi now the battery is big but we won't be focusing more on the battery batteries get heated up when they are under heavy usage so what has Xiaomi actually done to help keep the the the, the battery cool when it's working I mean from the teardown video of the Galaxy A52 we saw that uh, Samsung had a, a copper coating uh, just beneath the battery to help absorb heat and cool the battery but from all indication of what we are seeing here Xiaomi have no such provision in the redmi note 10 pro but they do have graphite tips so i mean that is better than nothing right so we just have to make do with that so now we are going to have a closer look at the chipset and the cameras of this device remember this phone or uh, the chipset that is powering this phone is snapdragon 732g which is more impressive and it's faster than the snapdragon 720g that was used in the samsung galaxy a52 all right so the main camera sensor 
of this device is 100 megapixels so it's time to have a very close look at the device man it's big the sensor is big it's bigger than the 64 megapixel sensor that uh, i took out from the galaxy a52 now this phone this camera does not have ois but it does have an electric stabilization for video then we have this a uh, 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor a 5 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor then up front the 16 megapixel main camera and at the top is a 3.5 mm jack again there is no rubber gasket which means no water resistance for this device then at the very top you have a closer look at the secondary speaker which brings out sound just like the button speaker not as loud as the button speaker but it's still cool all right so this is the inside of the redmi note 10 pro for the most part it's worth the money remember that when you ask for additional features in a device you are also automatically asking for the pricing of the device to go up this is like a trade-off for xiaomi they are trading camera for water resistant right so samsung decided to like okay you know samsung galaxy s a a52 let's us beat down the battery the the camera sensor rather then include a, a a water resistant now xiaomi is going the other way around let's take out water resistance and bring out a, a bigger camera sensor so you can tell me which one do you like a water resistant device like the samsung galaxy a52 or a 108 megapixel main camera like the one we are seeing here in the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro now with that said the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro is still pretty very pretty much very nice device for you to buy it has good camera system the display has 120 years refresh rate up to 1200 nits of brightness uh then there is the 108 megapixel which is incredible for good camera good battery system the cooling system is not that efficient for the battery i still prefer that of the samsung galaxy a52 when it comes to its battery cooling and all that but you can't take away the chipset at my EG, did a comparison of the redmi note 10 pro and the samsung galaxy a52 it ran the gigbest test for both chipsets and boy did the chipset of the redmi note 10 pro flood those of the galaxy a52 but overall for the price you are getting this phone and considering that it's cheaper than the galaxy a52 I'd say the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a good buy. If you are looking for camera speed and good gaming quality, definitely the Redmi Note 10 Pro is your device. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. It's me, the inside man, saying goodbye.